हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू एक उम्मीद हेल्प यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑफ स्प्रिंग बूट ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज थैंक यू फॉर ऑल योर सपोर्ट प्लीज डू हिट ए लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल वेल सो वी स्टार्टेड दिस स्वैगर ओके सो आई होप यू गेट सम आइडिया द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ वॉट एक्चुअली स्वैगर इज ओके सो नाउ क्विकली चेक आउट Uh, what is the actual definition of swagger so i just take this content from wikipedia so what wikipedia says swagger is an open source software framework backend by a large ecosystem of tools that help developer design build document and consume restful web service so basically these talk about about the restful web service design build document and consumption about the restful web services okay there is one more statement that is saying while most user identify swagger by the swagger ui tool okay and the swagger tools include support for automated documentation code generation and test case generation so i will explain explain about these three topic further so by the this definition i am pretty much sure you now pretty much clear about what actually did swagger okay so uh, you can say i uh, and the goal of the swagger is to provide a documentation of your all these web services so that uh, you, anyone i mean the anyone who wants to know about the capability of your services with the help of documentation they can easily understand that one so as you know like uh, for restful web service there is a no any standard for our documentation so swagger is one of the standard that follow the standardization of a restful web service application so previously there was a, a soap web service you already aware or not aware i mean so you can check it out so the soap web service basically use the visdal file and visdal is a uh, xml file so that provide a standard way of documentation of this your your soap web service for but rest we don't have so that is mean we are going into this swagger okay okay and the next uh, i would like to also cover so now we are pretty much know about what and why swagger and uh, i would like to add here the different ecosystem of swagger so if we talk about the ecosystem it comes with a three different way one is that swagger ui so that is built with the help of html css so ba basically that's that generate your uh, web page dynamically for your restful web services another one is the swagger editor so that is for yml or json file so you can edit and change it and the third one is the swagger code gen so code gen will do like whatever the annotation you use for swagger in your application for to customize your documentation i mean the swagger, uh, swagger code gen will convert into the documentation so the the one of the most important thing is like whatever the documentation you are going to create for your web service you can also customize it as per your need that is the very uh, beautiful feature of swagger okay now there is one more topic that i would like to discuss here that is called swagger specification so in swagger specifications the first one is the resource listing that can be a json or yml file or a case sensitive all the fields are case sensitive fields okay and the api description with details so i will cover all these things if you are not aware i mean you are not getting it properly i will give you an example in the next video what are all these things and how to configure your swagger with your application okay so i also i would like to add last thing about the dependency so for spring spring fox is the dependency we we have to include this dependency in your pom.xml file so that is that swagger dependency so there is a two dependency that i mentioned here so that i am going to add in our 
pom.xml spring boot application and after that we'll do another configuration and we'll show you how they are i'm i mean how your application restful web service application document get generated okay so stay tuned for this thank you so much